Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 96 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. And we have a real opportunity here to advance, uh, move up in the table. We have a way fixture against Braintree. They're 20th. So they're definitely not one of the better teams in the league. They've still won seven games, so they can win games. Uh, we've won 11. But we need to push. We keep need to pushing for that position. Even though it's not expected from us, we're in the position to. So I really should go for it. Uh, like I've always been saying this season, we I shouldn't just be content that I'm overachieving and just because I'm untouchable from the board. Look at all those maxed out. Squad harmony, job status, and school premier. Uh, look how high it is. Just because it's like it doesn't mean I just should, I should just settle. And no, I have my job, and I'm not going to get fired this season, definitely. I, I want to go for it. I want to go get consecutive promotions. I'm up for it. Uh, we've got our game against Braintree away. Yeah, and then we've got Alfreton um, at home. So they're about a similar level, but it's a home game. So there is a real possibility we could get two wins here and, yeah, really catapult ourselves into the playoff positions. And let's go. And yeah, it's been really tough though. We've got lots and lots of injuries and unavailable players. Look, Stern is injured, Stavrenu suspended, Ryan Plowright injured, Byers injured, Hollett injured. So I've actually had to bring in Ricketts from the reserve team or under 18s and he's on low fitness because he played a game already. So here, he's going to come in. But remember when he played once before the last game in the Skrill South we had and he scored a screamer. He was just yeah, he was playing in that register position. He was waiting all by himself outside the box, and he finished. See, I remember it. It's crazy how you can just remember those kind of things, but it's time to go in here giving Tolly another chance. He did okay in the last game. Um, well, yeah, last games, I guess you can say, uh, of the last episode. He played pretty well, passed well, and that's all I can ask him. But he needs to score. He hasn't scored in a real long time since that game, yeah, or that game. It would have been October, end of October, but yeah, we'll go in. It's still a strong team. Ricketts might have to play the whole game or Garner. He's not natural there, but I may have to bring him there. But we'll just see how it goes. But it doesn't matter if that guy is fully like low condition because he's not going to be playing the next game anyway. Another player will come in there. But we've got to focus here and try and get a win. Again, we'll go... Assertive this time, go out there and impress me. And Elliot Phillips is looking delighted. He's actually listed as our key player. It's pretty good for a 20-year-old with potential. So, yeah, let's see if we can get a win here. Churchill, goal kick. Oh, dangerous Woodward. Gurney! He's too good. He's ever reliable when there's an opportunity for him. I'm really confident he'll score most of the time as he did there. i will check the replay here. Uh, you can see long ball from Churchill and then Woodward. It was a nice header from Tolly as well, who was part of the play. And yeah, Gurney, very, very good finish. He's scoring a lot from that wing position. And we need that with Stern out. Dixon. Dangerous ball there. Oh, oh, there are. Oh, fuck. Disappointed to concede there. Got a, what happened here? When Bongu couldn't win that, overcommitted. And Ben Stevenson smashed it. Surprising Churchill couldn't save that. It seemed a reasonable height for him. Hmm. Got another chance here, though. I hope. Not for them. Isaac Scally, it's a goal. Disappointing. We got the lead, then I don't know what happened. We dropped it really quickly here. Uh, I'm disappointed. Guy Scal, who's he anyway? It's nothing even special. Not even special. Very disappointing here. I have to go in with a strong team talk. Aggressively, but yeah, those those missing players are telling. You can see that in this game. Oh, we've got an extra man. We could take it. Gurney again. He is too good. And they had Isaac off the ground. So he took the opportunity. And it's his second goal. 
Again, it's Wood with the ball. He's too good, Wood, Wood with his passing. And Gurney just smashed it. Low and hard. Hard for Dixon to save there. And we'll keep it on attacking, I guess. We scored. Can we get another? Because I want to win this. They're a lower team. I'll definitely need to make some change. I'm sure someone's low. Yeah, I thought Ricketts. Nah, he's, he has to go. But what am I going to do here? I'm going to bring on Charnley, then bring Garner there. I have to. No choice. Don't have anyone else. Um, yeah, Tolly. Nah, sorry, mate. You're gone. And Spencer, striker. And who else here? Hmm. Curtis McKenzie, not nah, Mongongu, whatever his name is. And Bongu. He's not playing good enough. And yeah, that's why I didn't offer him a new contract. I don't think I will as well. At this level, he hasn't done the job. In School South, when I signed him last season, he was amazing. But Or maybe he was overrated in his rating because he got a lot of goals from headers from corners and scored. So that might be it as well. He wasn't that amazing defensively. Who knows? Oh, Gurney almost got onto it. Oh, here's a chance. Shoot! They never. They never do it. When the goal, at least at this level, maybe they're not good enough to. <laughs> Woodward, that could be yeah, a good thing. They don't have the quality and they don't think they will. And the confidence. Gurney's picked up a knock, but he'll stay on because he's strong. Woodward win this. Go for a winner. Nah. Uh, good save, Churchill. Isaac with the corner, and McKenzie, no nonsense there, just smashed it out of there, but ball this time, yeah, well defended, away from home draw, not too bad result, but yeah, team, I want to give my chance to beat them, because they're doing bad, but yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a draw, and again, like I've said before, when you think about it, a team of our stature, that's what was expected to get relegated, a draw away from home is not too bad, Woodward, again, two assists, and Gurney, the two goals, I'm happy, like when you sit back and think about it. But it's going to be hard to get promoted if you don't win consistently. But yeah, if we get a win against Alfredson at home, yeah, it's definitely a good chance. But Gurney again, is he on the top goal? Yeah, he's just sitting behind there. He's lurking and Ben Garner with the assists. Yeah, so Ricketts is injured. Is someone still suspended? Nah, Stavrenu will be back. So don't worry about defensive midfield there. Stuart Jempson, yeah, he's tutoring. He's injured as well, all these young midfielders. Oh, Gurney's injured though. Six to eight days. So he's actually going to miss the next game. Who's going to come in right wing? Is Plough right fit? Nah, he's injured. Who's going to play there? We must have a young player. Frank Lewis. He's going to have to step up. Do we have anyone else? Ugh. Doesn't look too promising, does it? Uh, Under-21s. Oh, Brendan Valley. I remember him. I kind of forgot about him. Hasn't done too amazing in the reserves anyway. Yeah, probably will let him go. He had a decent... He was that guy that I didn't think that was really good, did I? But he took some chances. Like, he had good finishing attributes. I guess, yeah, for that school South level, he's good. But yeah, this... Doesn't seem as good, but yeah, we've got to go back. Um, Frank Lewis is going to have to step up. Didn't we have another pacey guy, but he wasn't really good in other areas? I'm pretty sure I did, or maybe I let him go. I do not know, honestly. Can Bowyer play? Nah, he can't. I'm pretty sure we had another. Jake Francis? Nah, he's just centrally... I guess not, mate. Michael Tafe, nah. I guess just Frank Lewis. Um, he doesn't really have any star attribute. Hasn't done amazingly for the under-18s, but we need someone to actually play. So, yeah, he's coming up. So, you can see here all the players that are going to be running out of their contracts. You can leave your own thoughts on them. First up, there's Ross Stern, who's on 475 per week. If I offer him a contract, he wants 700. And of course he's with that injury right now, so I don't. He could be. He could drop down even more. And he's actually in the favoured personnel of Bath. If I go here, and where do I go? View club information. Here we are. Yeah, favoured personnel. He's the only one there. Of course, there's icons, but yeah, that's what I mean. He's there, but I don't think he'd be worth the money. 
if I'm just being honest and being making realistic decisions, the best for us to perform best. And also Jermaine Churchill is another one. Of course, he's been our starting keeper for quite some time, but he wants a lot more money. He's on 210 right now, 425, but that kind of matches with a lot of other players. And for a full-time contract, what's the lowest? I'm surprised. Yeah, you can offer less. But anyway, uh, yeah, he would want a decent amount. And I'm just thinking, I want to play the waiting game with him, like a few players as well. If a better goalkeeper comes along, I probably want to sign him. Because if I'm being honest, like I've always had hope for him to improve, but he hasn't really never, he hasn't improved yet. His reflex has been on 14 since he came to the club. You get that. I gave him, yeah, he had his introduction that season where he conceded 71 goals. And then he slowly improved. He conceded less every single season. But now, yeah, um, he's stepping back and not really having a great season. Uh, honestly, uh, he's conceded quite a bit. What you would expect anyway, but I feel as though we could probably get someone better. I'll leave your thoughts on that. This is why I'm showing you this, to get your thoughts on it. Jack Worms as well, he's in the same boat, giving him chances here and there and never really has performed at this level. Uh, Ryan Plowright's same boat. You can see all these names here. There's Stavrenu, Ball, Mackenzie, and Bongu. So far, I haven't offered contracts. That, uh, Dan Ball's definitely an interesting one. For whatever reason, my yeah best judgment, Stuart Wood as well. You know his quality judgment there. It's he's says he's only a two uh, yeah two what's that yeah two and a half star, and he's only a decent player for school North or South. It's an interesting one because he seems he has well rounded attributes. Again, the same boat. I could potentially find someone better. That's what I mean. That's what I'm going to look out for next season. So not offer him yet. Staff, I usually just wait for that. Well, oh, but Stuart Wood definitely. Have to offer him. Promotion wage rise. Might drop that a bit, even though we probably won't get promoted. You're in 250. You accept that. Yeah, I'm happy with that to get him because he's quality. And the rest I'll just leave. Or maybe Dave Wilson for fitness because 16 fitness is pretty good. You're not going to get much better than that for this level, I reckon. So we'll sign him up for another year. So, for example, if I just go to search for staff and then I go fitness fitness coach and then I go to coaching and go to fitness like there's all these other ones with decent fitness as well but they're at a, there's not many is it just me or there's not many fitness coaches is they're missing something I don't know but anyway you take off unrealistic of course there's way more but for wanting to join me there's not many I know that seems weird but we'll take that off because I already offered him uh, the contract and some young players here Probably all going to let go. Not high enough potentials or quality. So you can see here, we've got that game against Alfred. And it's a very crucial game. You're being at home, you think I should win it. But if somehow we play bad and lose it, uh, they could take our position. Well, we'll still have more goal difference. But yeah. Uh, and if we win, we could potentially get back into that play of places. Depends what teams on top of us do. So yeah, it's going to be huge. But as you know, we have a lot of players missing Look at all suspensions, everything. Just take a look yourself because a lot of them I mentioned already. But it means some. I'm going to have to give a debut. I'm pretty sure I haven't used this guy yet. Yeah, he's been at club for a couple of seasons now. Uh, Frank Lewis, he's on his last season as well on that youth contract. He's really small though. He's really weak. I don't think he'd be a huge impact. And it's not like he's overly pacey or something. But he's the only available player that can play that position. I'm pretty sure we have. Uh, or ch actually, Charnley can play there. I reckon he'll be the better option. Yeah. Because he's a bit more experienced. He's got strength as well. But he's not overly pacey. It's opportune. Nah, I really like it. Now, nah, Dean. Dean can play there. See, he's not natural, but he he's accomplished. That's good enough. Nah, yeah, Dean's a better option. There we go. But yeah, we're still very, very light. In that way. So we'll go in. We'll go passionately. And do it for the fans. We'll see how we go here. We're still yeah, giving games to guys. Not even on contracts yet. Like Mbongu and that. Ball. To play for it really. To show me they're going to be good enough. Oh Mackenzie. We don't have a backup. What are, Now Ball. He's going to have to have a tougher gig. He's going to have to come centre back. Then Mackenzie's going to come off. And we're going to bring on Berkeley Agapong. So it's another injury. Out of nowhere, this is really. All these injuries. 
But anyway, got to forget about that for now. As Tolly's on, Tolly finds Dean and he almost scores. It's still alive then. Actually, what I'm doing now is telling Tolly, well, yeah, put him on the individual, individual training of long shots. Because you know he can shoot them and it's, he's only got three. So I'm surprised he's got as many as he has and they score. But yeah, with Tolly, he's only got three long shots. But in his career, he's scored a decent amount of goals outside of the box. And he's got the preferred moves, like shoot at distance and shoot with power. So, yeah, if I try and work on it with training, he could do that. But, yeah, another regen for them scoring. Come on. Do Tolly. Oh, poor pass. But we have a chance, maybe. No, it's really poor passing here. Ball. Oh, this is not a very good game. I'm not sure what they're doing. But they are not playing well. Win this. Good save, Churchill. Well done. See, Churchill makes a lot of saves. I'm just not sure if he's going to improve. Hasn't really done so far. Dramatically, at least. But this has been a poor game. We've actually played bad. The passing, not good enough. Yeah, where's your passion? Do you even want to win? Do you even want to win? Doesn't It does not look like it. It does not look like it. But yeah, regardless, I'm not going to be so disappointed because we've really overachieved. They had another chance. But yeah, as I was going to say, we overachieved this season. Uh, going to be happy. And we're basically, there's zero chance of us getting relegated now. So we've I've done what I needed to do, really. So that's all good. Uh, Agyapong, I'm going to have to leave him on. Uh, Williams to come on for Tolly. Put Williams left wing. Might, yeah, might as well give that Frank Lewis guy a chance for Dean. Give him a game when there's a chance. He might do something special. Who knows? Uh, Williams has the ability. Frank Lewis, no pressure. Let's see what they can do. Can they do something? Move to attacking. With 20 minutes remaining. Will be time. Go Williams. Woodward. There's Lewis. Back to Lewis. Find Spencer and it's a goal. Well done. So Lewis actually makes an impact. Assisting and moving Spence into the striking position. That was a really good change. I believe. And yeah, Spencer finished. But that was a good passing lead up play. And then Lewis, he's still got a decent amount. Like, 11 pace is not too bad for this level. Still regarded as pretty quick. Now we've got to go for the winner, can we? With 10 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. This is, oh no, error. Okay, we get it back. Will there be a chance? I don't think so. Maybe for them, nah. But yeah, this is where we'll see if we're deserving to get promoted or not. If we can drag wins out of nowhere. Can we do it? Spencer, Garner, Lewis! Oh, I did not expect this from this young lad, but he has stepped up to the plate. And he's basically single-handedly won the points for us here. <laughs> well done. He got the assist, of course, before... For Spencer, and now he's scored himself. That's what I mean, what I just said. So we have shown. I really think this is the spirit of a team that gets promotion. Getting two late goals from a losing position. Frank Lewis makes the impact. With two minutes left. We should have it, yep. That 20 seconds left, that usually means it's over. We've got it. Yes, come on. That's what exactly I wanted my team to show. We can be... One of those teams that get the points when it looks most unlikely. What a comeback. Especially from that Frank Lewis. Uh, but yeah, their player was the man of the match or player of the match. But we'll go back and go to Frank Lewis. His finishing was only four and composure four. He played above his ratings. His passing's three. He still needs to improve heavily. I still don't think he's going to be good enough part of the future just judging. But he did it. He did it when we needed and that's, I've got to give credit to him. But I, he's not a guy you can rely on. Like, I'm not going to be playing him every game now because he just did that. He doesn't have the attributes. That's what I mean. 
Maybe similar thing to what Tolly did when he joined. Maybe it was just a young player excited to play or whatever. I don't know, but you can't be, you won't be expecting him to do that on the regular. But it was yeah, it was good for him to make that impact, of course. So it was a good comeback. And Curtis McKenzie's injured for four months. We're dead. Our centre backs are going. Everyone's falling down. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'll leave it at that for now. Do we have another centre back in the back? We don't in the under 18s, but. Right now, we're sitting in seventh. We're still pushing. We're keeping the pressure on the teams ahead of us. But if you enjoy this episode, it would be amazing if you drop a like. And I'll see you guys next time.